To the town centre of Blackpool. So um, Blackpool, are you ready for us? <laughs> so um, um, the plan for today is we're going to have afternoon tea in um, Winter Gardens. Um, Winter Gardens is um, one of the oldest theatre and ballroom in all England. So um, I will show you what it looks like. So we're walking now, we just parked the car, we're working our way to the town centre, so I'll see you later! See ya! Hi, so here we are in the town centre, that's the Hounds Hill, that's the main shopping centre here in Watford. So this is the main street where everything is like here. So this is the Blackpool Tower Dungeon and on top of it is the tower as you can see it. The Happy Mart here in UK. <laughs> it's the Happy Mart, the Primani, Primark, Primark, whatever how you pronounce it. So that's the dungeon. So, hey, Gracie, how do you find Blackpool so far? Amazing. I love <laughs> it here. I want to live here. <laughs> so that's the main, well this is the back entrance of the Blackpool Tower if you want to go in and go on to the top of the tower. Central Pier, the central is like the middle part of Blackpool Promenade. So it has three pier. So that's the um, North Pier, and that's the Central Pier over there. And the next one will be the North, um, the South Pier. I mean, so it's got three piers, and so that's compromise all the um, Blackpool Promenade. Thank you. 
I know. So we are actually in the promenade. So this is the sea, the sea part. The um, it's the one that's closer to the beach. So can you see people are having um, a swim? I don't know how cold the temperature is. Seeing them, I don't think so. It's cold. How can they tolerate it if it's cold? I don't think it's cold. I mean, well, you can have a dip. I mean, your not like whole body, but I mean your toes. Sorry, I'm wearing shoes. We can come back later for sunset. Yeah, yeah. yeah we can do. Yeah, we can sunset, sunset and all. Yeah. Nice here. So we're heading now to the central pier. It's okay, we're gonna go to the end anyway. There's no loads of people in there. We we'll go to the end of it. So you've got a better view from the tower. I mean, from there to the tower. What you've got? You should like ask for um, some napkins. Get some napkins over there. What did you get? A 
and some sprinkles mm -hmm. and some what is that? Toppies. Toppies. Oh. How does it taste like? Yeah. That's a thumbs up for Gracie. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> so I've got some Reese's milkshake. Mm. Tastes nice. So hi you guys, my lovelies. Um, we end the day on our Blackpool tour for Gracie. We are here at the Sand Dunes in Blackpool. So we're watching the sunset. This is how we end our day. How wonderful is that looking? This is the part of um, Blackpool that most of locals go for a swim. Where we're so showing Earth. you, um, that's the tourist spot. So this, but this is the part of um, Blackpool that most of the local will go, you know, chill, have a picnic and have a swim. So we're here to have a little, well, we have our little sit up here. If you can see, we have, um, it looks like a um, zebra print mat. So strange, because as soon as we put our mat, one of them um, people come over to us and ask where we get this. I actually got, uh, got this from Aldi, and it's really, really convenient, because obviously it's made out of plastic. So when you, when you finish using it and you fold, you fold it up, the sand will stick, the sand will just split off. So this is our tiny setup here. Like yeah, very recommended, it's really nice. I have to bring a bit of like, oh, this is my travel towel. I have to bring it because it's, it's getting a bit of chill, you know, the wind. But the ambience is really good. Um, I really enjoyed it. It's such a lovely day. We're such blessed that we have two days of sunny, you know, warm weather. It's getting chill at night. Um, it's already like about nearly eight o'clock in the evening here. But we're just here in the um, sand dunes, chilling and waiting for the sunset. And yeah, doing our Instagrammable pictures as well. We we uh, we. We've managed to get some nice pictures and we're going to post it later to my um, Facebook page or Instagram. Yeah. So, yeah, to sum up, to sum up, Gracie, how would you tell, like in a few sentences, what would you tell your experience being here, you know, in Blackpool? This time of the year, it's, it's crowded. crowded because of because of the summer you know, holidays, tourists. school, school term and yeah, summer holidays. But then, if you'd like to live in a place where you know it's just laid back, but you've still got a lot of things going on during at night. You know, there are a lot of stores open 24 hours, um, leisure with kids and family. You've got schools nearby. It's really a, a, a very convenient place. It's a family-oriented place. Yeah, really. very, very family-oriented place. And um, it's not so quiet. It's not so... Too crowded as well. Yeah, it's not too It's just crowded. a balance. Of, yeah, it's, there's just a balance of everything. So it's, you, you can go in this kind of place where you can Entrance fee or anything, you know, you just don't leave your your the litter. Flats, 
very affordable. Not affordable, just the right price, you know, that you can It's about afford. in a range of like four, five, five six, six, six hundred for a two, two bedroom, bedroom flat. And buses, transportations are really accessible, right? Yeah, I've lived here in Blackpool for about maybe nearly 10 years now. Nearly 10 years I live in Blackpool. Um, obviously, as a local, we, we don't really tend to go over, go to the places where tourists go. As like I said earlier, this is most of the local um, go for a picnic because not most most of the tourist people will go to the main town yeah. where close to the tower. Yeah. But this is the area uh, called Sun Dunes. It's similar uh, to well, you know, similar to the main the main town but only it, we don't have the concrete steps yeah yeah I saw this that. is made of all sand dunes yeah. um, like um, sand. sand brown sand like a very long shoreline yeah a very long shoreline yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if you want to like if you want to relax gather your thoughts Well, most of that we've been running. We've seen a lot of people, local, walking their dogs here as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. So you know, if if you're wondering, country, like in the UK, you want to work, work if you're if you're one of those Filipinos or any any you know any any uh, aspiring anyone who inspires nurses out there who wants to work and abroad especially in the UK yeah. and black you're wondering where where to which which area, area which place like you'd like to um because we Blackpool also have the, the one of the biggest hospital in Blackpool is Blackpool Victoria and there's loads of Filipino Blackpool. nurses work there as well. Of, well yeah there's loads of home cares but um and you can do home cares as well here and then the closest university, if you want to do pursue your studying, is Preston, which is about 25 to 30 minutes away from here. So yeah. So it's Grace's first time coming here it's my in Blackpool. First time and I'm really, like considering the transfer here. Aside from the fact that my shop is here. It's convenient for all places here really. And for family, yeah. you know, obviously you got kid, you got yeah. kid, so I think it's better for your kid as well. So that's the thought. That's food for thought for anyone who's or anyone who following me or subscribing on my channel. Rates, like the, it's um, above national wage, depending on private company. Yeah, but you can live with that though, with the um, lifestyle. lifestyle. Yeah, because it's not really expensive, the housing, the food is natural, national, it's the same price. So, the same yeah. price for us. But the restaurant... Bas basically, if you're, if you're considering, considering places where to hear in the UK, the first thing that you consider is, you know, the accommodation. So, Blackpool is somewhere more expensive. Yeah, it's um, part... Um, the county, it's part of Lancashire County in the northwest yes. so it's a it's a small um town near preston although you could i could say specifically it's like an hour away from manchester because manchester is quite a long perspective so it's like an hour away from manchester an hour away from liverpool so you know if you're considering like 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 Filipino migrants or Filipino OFW that usually go off the, going home to for a holiday in back home in the Philippines. So the closest air, um, airport is Manchester. Manchester. Yeah. yeah. So that's an hour away. There's loads of Filipino here, but there's not a bit of. Um, I could tell there's not a bit of. Um, com there is a community, but only to those people who work in the same, like hospital, like nurses, in the same places. But some of the Filipinos who work in care homes, they're not really that, like, needed community. But we still, if we see Filipino, we say I'm hi, seen, hello. I'm seeing, so we say hi, hello, they're quite friendly, but it's not really like, 
I like the knitted community, like really close together. It's not, it's not. I think I prefer that way anyway. I'm not, I'm not discriminating anyone. I prefer it that way. That I am still attached to my culture and I'm still attached to my people. What about like, um, like Asian stores? Uh, for, those, for those who is like not yet. Hey, not just for the uh, not adjusting English to way English, way. English food. Um, there is one in town. One yeah, there's one in town, a Filipino. Um, right, the sen store. right the center of town, there's one Filipino store. But they're quite frousy. But everything now you can buy online anyway and deliver yeah. it. So it's not a big deal. Actually, it's not a big deal. Because everything now you can buy online and they can deliver. Yeah. So, yeah. so now it's close to, the sun to sunset now. So we're ending our a bit of chit chat here. And we're just gonna watch the sunset and take some pictures to share with you guys. And thank you for the support. If you have, if you're not a subscriber, you know, might as well subscribe. Like and subscribe. <laughs> All right. And you can comment down below what things you want us to do. Like, you know, what you want to know if you're interested in migrating in the UK as a yeah. as a nurse really. Or anything. Like if you if you find a boyfriend that is British, you can <laughs> you can you can ask us how life is. It's not much different for living as a nurse, isn't it? Still living in, in the UK. So you can ask us. But don't ask us how the visa works because we don't know. <laughs> so <laughs> just ask us how Well, a bit of life love. Love, like, love, um, love advice, but not that kind of stuff. But, um, yeah. So, comment down below. And that's it. Bye!